Choice defines destiny. This is the way it has always been. Like the water that flows through time eternal, destiny can change form and take a new path as choice decides. Humans so often believe that their fate is set. If only they knew how easily fate bent to their will. The Chronicles, created and produced by Christina Fithernsteel and Brody Williams. Episode 2, starring Tasman Riley, Christina Fithernsteel, Keely Maloney, Kyle Edwards, Cole Pearden, and Jay King. Additional voices supplied by Derek Wickham, Lily Gallagher, Dylan Shane, and Brody Williams. Good morning, fellow. How are you on this lovely summer day? <sighs> Sweaty as usual, stoic as ever. Is that that ambassador sword? <laughs> Careful, it's got a crack in it already. That's going to be the seventh time you've had to fix that thing. You're late. It's half past noon and I've been working my ass off to keep up with our orders. You're gonna put me out of business. Don't worry, your glistening bald beauty of a head. We have an ace, remember? You can't expect the king to wait on you forever, Bo. I'm surprised he's let you slide for so long. Idiot has no idea how long it takes to make a proper sword. So long as he keeps our coffer full, I'm content. Last week I told him we need a little extra silver to pay for the unicorn hide I'm working into the handle. There'll be a day when you won't be able to charm drinking money out of rich men, Bo. I hope I live long enough to see it. You know what they say, fallow. To those drunk off their asses, time passes like molasses. Okay. <laughs> Funny. I've learned my lesson. Where'd you put it, fallow? What? King Optimus's sword, you smelly fart. I have to show him some progress or he'll kill me. Maybe if you'd locked up shop last night instead of drinking with your low-life friends, it would still be here. You think someone stole it? Plenty of new young adventurers looking for cheap weapons. What do you think? Shit. Deep breaths, Cleo. Captain, how's it going with turning the boat around? To be honest, lass, it'd be smoother process without the help of your friends. Okay, I think I got the knot right this time. <laughs> Whoops. Jimmy! Fix Xander scoop loop and refiddle that faddle, belay the bobstay, hook the clue, and fiddly the far bit. I feel like that was patronizing gibberish. Aye, Captain. Xander, get out of their way. Fine, whatever. This is why you never see elves on ships. You wouldn't happen to have anything to help Cleo calm down, would you? I don't want her to start hyperventilating. <sighs> I'm, I'm fine. This, this is different. That was just a final exam. This, well, this is just the fate of the whole world. Technically, it's their screw up. They lost their quest role. The way I see it, she'd be their favorite person for returning it at all. You're right, Agnes. I am? Well, not really about anything you just said, but maybe Raphael will agree that no one is truly at fault. Just an honest mistake. Interesting thought, Cleo. Quick counter-argument. Maybe they weren't even supposed to have it in the first place, and it was always meant for us. Xander, it was assigned to them. Of course it was meant for them. That's not what I mean, Helly. This could all be a sort of grand design thing. Like the gods pointing us on the path of our real destiny of greatness and richness. Like when the light of the twilight star led me out of the ruins of my smoldering village to the lair of the beast who ravaged it. That's different, Xander. And since when did you believe in all that fate mumbo-jumbo? You 
also said that our first quest was meant for us. To prove that we're a great party? I was bluffing to make you feel better. It was a shit quest. We all know it was a shit quest. I don't know about you guys, but I think we deserve better than that. It, it doesn't matter whether you thought it was a, a poopy quest or not. It was ours, and that made it special. Keeping the scroll would be wrong. It's not meant for us. At least not yet. Maybe one day, Xander, when we're big and strong and... And competent. And competent. And pay back all the things we've borrowed over the years. That, too. So, what? We wait until we're a better party and you're a better leader. Like who? Raphael or, hmm, maybe your brother? Yeah, because that turned out so well for him. Xander. Sorry, I'm just a little frustrated right now by the fact that our party leader refuses to grow a pair of- Ow, 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 Agnes, let go of my ear. Don't listen to him, Cleo. We'll take the scroll back. Hey, maybe we can get a fun afternoon buzz going too while we're waiting around for Team Gruff One. Griffin? Whatever. Thanks, guys. I promise that after our first quest, we'll be great for sure. I'll stop at nothing to make certain our names go down in history. We'll be in the history books, all right. Chadix, history's stupidest party name. I'll go talk to him. Don't take it too personal, Cleo. You know how elves get around solstices? It's all, I'm so emotional this, and let's run around naked in the moonlight that. Ridiculous. Thanks, Agnes. No problem. If you want, I can throw him overboard too. There's this whole d elves float thing I want to figure out. <laughs> No, that's okay. He's just got his feathers ruffled. And honestly, I don't blame him. It must be hard to be such a famed dragon slayer and then request adventure status only to have the school tell you that you need to graduate first. Now there's this whole quest debacle and, well, I just want to do the right thing. No one's expecting any more or any less from you, boss. Personally, I would have kept the scroll, like Xander said, for different reasons, but eh, I think it's, uh, what's the word, noble of you to want to return it? It's why you're party leader and the rest of us isn't. Aren't. Whatever. All right, mateys, we got the ship turning round. With so in the turbex, we'll be back to the docks in no time. Land ho! Yer! Thank ye, boy. See, Cleo? Everything's gonna be fine. You made a good call, champ. I did, didn't I? <laughs> Thank goodness. Now it's all gonna be okay. <laughs> I'm proud of us. I feel like a badass pirate. Look at me, on a ship. Yar. This is awesome. Yeah, yeah, settle down there, Seaman. I think the boss is gonna be mad at us for buying a ship instead of, I don't know, killing everyone on board and stealing it? Like, bad guys? Nah, he's more of the subtle type, you know? If anything, he'll probably compliment us on thinking this through and not just killing people. Sure, but this ship cost a lot of money. And we've never killed anyone before. I think the murder method would have earned us more points. Fine. We'll agree to disagree. There you go again. There I go again what? Backing down from a fight. This is why we'll always be bottom of the barrel lackeys and the big, powerful, magical villain. You idiots seem to enjoy making my life difficult. I honestly don't know whether to command or kill you. Oh, shit. On the one hand, you let Raphael and their ilk escape with the quest scroll we so desperately needed. But on the other hand, this is a pretty nice ship. You think? I picked it out. Shut up. Okay. Do you two intend to sail this massive thing all by yourselves? We didn't have enough left to pay the crew, but I bought this book about vacation sailing. It's decently informative, though all I've learned so far is that the front is called the stern. Oh my god, are you serious? The stern is the right side of the boat. Pretty sure it's the back of the ship. That doesn't sound right. Stern. Like urn, as in you gotta earn your place at the front. What? It makes sense, okay? 
You know that old saying. Stop talking, or I swear on the great goddess's divine head, I will shove your head so far up your heart. You there. Sailors, my name is Raphael Free. I am a recent graduate of Solus Academy. Turd-sucking turtle shit. Oh shit, what do we do? Think calling thoughts. Everything is turning out wonderfully. I request the use of your ship. You will be paid handsomely, of course, for your cooperation. What a lovely boat. Don't you think it's a little small? Size isn't everything, Nira. Don't you agree, Galileo? <sighs> is your captain aboard? I'll need to speak to her immediately. Our quest is of the utmost importance. I'm sure she'll understand. Dear adventurers, I am the captain of this sturdy vessel. I would happily aid you in your endeavors. For free, even. Ooh, that is lovely as well. Thank you, Captain... Kingsman. Captain Kingsman, I appreciate your generosity. Anything for a hero. Your quest must be very important. Yes. If it's notoriety you desire, that can be arranged. Please, I desire nothing more than to help out of the goodness of my heart. You and your party, you go make yourselves comfortable. We'll sail immediately. Ace, show them below deck. Me? Just go. Aye, aye, Captain Kingsman. Now what? You'd be surprised at how few people are able to come to your aid at sea, Hank. Even fewer can hear you scream. They'll be anchored to the bottom of the ocean, lungs filled with water, long before anyone even realizes they're gone. I feel like this is a good time to bring up the fact that I am terrified of water. I don't even like to drink the stuff. <sighs> just to help me cast off. Sure, but maybe just tone down all the dying at sea talk, okay? I just want to have a nice boat ride. See, I can't just file a report. It would be bad for business if it got out that people can just... waltz in here and steal my stuff. Yeah, bad for business. So, you can understand my situation. Sure. So, did you see anyone take anything from my shop last night? Nope. You're a guard. You're supposed to guard. You didn't guard. So at least help me. Throw me a bone here! Not your personal guard, Bo. I guard the Royal Point Coffer and occasionally volunteer for the Night Watch because the baby's got colic and since it's been born, the mother-in-law set a residence in the fireplace. I can't even go to take a piss without waking the little shit machine or an old hag asking me, Where do you think you're going this hour, Vanna Melissa? No, I did not see anyone steal your sword. I have other things preoccupying my mind. I get that, I really do, but just hear me out! Do you get it? Because long as I've known you, only thing you ever seem to get is in trouble. The world doesn't revolve around you, Bo. I know that. But just this once, it kinda does. You see, the sword is kinda, sorta, meant for King Optimus. <laughs> oh man, good. Maybe that'll earn you some responsibility. I'm not the one walking away from their job, you big horseradish! Don't talk to me about responsibility. And don't ask me any favors. That's a good-for-nothing jerk. I'm not saying I can't. I'm just saying I prefer not to. You sing in the bathroom all the time. Yeah, singing while masturbating is different from singing in public. You've got the charisma to be a bard, at least. Just throwing it out there. I'd probably even hire you to juggle at a children's party. I don't think my performance skills were ever really being questioned. I think that nymph was just being a bitch. Sander, we've talked about using that word. Well, if it isn't my favorite adventuring party in recent memory. Hey, Bo. Xander, you got that five gold you owe me? I probably did at one yes. How have you been, Bo? It seems like ages since we've spoken to you. Oh, yeah, well, been busy with this and that. Actually... If you guys have a minute, I could use some help. It's lovely to see you, Bo, but we can't actually stop and chat at this moment. You see, there's a bit of, uh, a kerfuffle, and we have to get something back to Raphael. Free? 
What, you guys hang out now? Uh, no. They lost something, and we're just nice enough to return it to them. Seriously? The only thing I can imagine them losing is the stick that's rammed so far up their ass. We're kind of in a hurry. We have to catch them before they leave. You wouldn't have happened to see them, would you, Eagle Eye? Me? Uh, yeah, actually. I know exactly where they went, saw their ship sail off this morning. Really? Oh, what was the name of the ship? Where were they headed? Oh, Bo, thank you so much. This is the best news I've heard all day. You're really helping us out here. I know, sweetie. And in return, I just have one teeny tiny little insignificant favor to ask of you guys. Sure. Thanks, but no thanks. I don't want to return the darn thing, but don't waste your time, Cleo. Please, Bo, just, just tell us what you know. I will. I just need your help first, okay? One of my swords got stolen. So do a better job of looking up next time. Let's go, guys. Guys, hear me out! I'm sorry, Bo. I wish we could help. It's a sword I was making for the king. One of his little helpers swings by every so often to check on me. If I don't have a sword for him to inspect, it's my head rolling down the street for the kids to kick around. Just... Help me track it down, and I'll help with whatever your thing is. Not happening. Good luck with your thing. Helena? Do you really know where we'll be able to find Raphael? Uh, sure. Ellie, come on. Don't be a sucker. Cleo, I don't want to delay you, but I think we should help both as best we can. What? It's not even a fair deal. Okay, fine. Cleo, how about I fix that giant-ass sword for you and give you something your tiny baby hands can handle? For... free. It's already getting dark. We won't be able to make any more progress tonight. We can get some rest, regroup, help Bo in the morning, and then be on our way. I am not one to argue with a meal in a comfy bed for a night. Better than spending any more time on that boat than I have to. It's a ship. I'll admit, I wouldn't mind a night of drunken celebration. We did just graduate, after all. Let's worry about Raphael's problems tomorrow. I... 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 I don't think we should waste any more time on... frivolities. Is that some kind of fruit? Leo, you've already worried yourself sick. Before you can help others, you must take care of yourself. Get some rest, and the problems of today will seem smaller in the morning. Okay. You can stay. One night. So, you guys are gonna help me, or what? Don't push it. Maybe get us fed and wasted, and we'll be in a friendlier mood. My dear Agnes, getting you drunk would be my deepest pleasure. Where to, esteemed graduates? It's on me. Well... The first round. So long as it's water. What about the tasty trout? Last time I was there, I got a little too friendly with the owner's daughter, and I'm not welcome back. The dying phoenix? Altercation with one of the regulars due to allegations of cheating. Wilton Shimmering Whale? How about I narrow it down? No places named after animals, or colors, or any places that have painted signs. How about Fledgling? Fledgling heroes? No one drinks there except for losers who didn't make it into solace and sad old people stuck back in the crusades. It's where we had our first meal as a party. Where Jax was born. I'm sorry, where what was born? I thought it might be fitting. Good call, Helly. Bet you a silver piece I'll be the one to drink you under the table this time. Deal. Alright, fledgling heroes it is. Looks like you're a whole silver piece richer. I'm almost inclined to accept the lovely serenade as payment. At least now we know he can sing in public. It may not sound sincere, but I wanted to say thanks for putting off your big important thing to help me. Eh, it's better this way anyways. Cleo didn't really think things through. Raphael will be back first thing tomorrow when they figure out what's happened. Us waiting in one spot? 
it makes it easier for everyone. No offense, but why is Cleo in charge anyway? She's a great kid, but she's just that. A kid. Because the rest of us are too selfish. Even at our most benevolent, we couldn't hold a candle to Cleo. She has enough heart to make us heroes. This is getting way too sentimental for me. I'm gonna go scrape Xander off the table and hit the hay. Good night, Agnes. Night, Helly. Bye. See you bright and early. Whatever. Come on, Elfie. Let's get you to bed so you can work on that amazing hangover for the morning. You and Xander haven't changed all that much. Five years of Hero Academy. Still think it was worth it? Of course. All we want is to make a difference in the world. When we first enrolled, we needed each other. I think it's an apt metaphor. You have to rely on others. Without Solus, we never would have learned that. Sure. Whatever you say, Helena. You little heroes are so cute sometimes. Well, congrats at almost making it out of here with your first quest. Cheers. Sacred light, with Thaddeus, fire will free the lands. Sea of insanity. Hey, what you doing? What? Mind if I join you? Uh, sure. What, you didn't feel like drinking the night away? It's not really my thing. Besides, I should be ready to leave in the morning. And I'm too young. Yeah, me too. Hey, do you think you and Helena could muster up some kind of scrying spell? You know, so we could get both stuff done as quick as possible? Sure thing. We've been practicing a lot, but to be honest, it'd be okay if you decided to bail. You get to call the shots. No, no. It, it's fine. It's important we help people, no matter how minor their problem might seem. You don't really sound that confident. I... You should try to project more. Give your voice a little bit of authority. Try saying, no hats allowed. Um... No hats allowed? Good. Now, say it like you're in the middle of combat and you see your sworn enemy ride over the ridge. You have to rally your troops to you. <laughs> Shaman, this is silly. Practice is always silly. If you take it too seriously, then you feel bad when you're no good at something. But you're a good leader, Cleo. You just need practice. No hats allowed. No hats allowed. No hats allowed. No hats allowed. <laughs> <laughs> now you got it. Working on it. Sounds good. Hey, get some rest too, okay? Sure. And. Uh, yeah? Thanks. No problem, party leader. No hats allowed. Okay, maybe just one hat. Because it's kind of cute. <laughs> Can't sleep. Hmm? Oh, no. Galileo was out the moment his head hit the pillow. Not one for the hammocks myself. They upset my stomach. What about Naira? She complained all through dinner. She talked one of the crew into letting her use the captain's quarters privately. Where will the captain sleep? Apparently he doesn't. Not unlike someone else I know. Is it the uh, dream again? No, it's different. Ever since we set sail, I've been unsettled. Something feels wrong, but I can't place my finger on it. Do you think we should have someone up to keep watch? It couldn't hurt. I'll take first. I'll take first shift. I wouldn't mind watching the stars reflect off the water, and maybe avoid Galileo's snoring for a while. Besides, you need your sleep. Right. Wake me when you get tired. Of course, Raphael. Have a pleasant sleep. <clears throat> Thank you.
Fate is a narrow bridge spanning an entire ocean, subject to its storms and waves. Those who follow fate are granted the safety of the known. They survive the drag of the undertow by a small margin. Raphael, really, it's fine. Go to bed. A bridge is no safer than a vast ocean. <gasps> Look to the stars. Mata will guide you. It's a long path, and there are times where the water looks inviting. <laughs>